Another headline this week, a Tulsa County judge ruled a historic Greenwood Church cannot be part of the lawsuit stemming from the 1921 Tulsa race massacre. Justice for Greenwood attorneys argue the massacre caused a public nuisance and they're looking for a remedy. I talked with the pastor at Vernon AME about the judge's decision. Not only a travesty and a slap in the face to those who call Vernon home, but every Tulsa who wants to see justice. A picture on the wall inside Vernon AME shows what was left of the church the day after the 1921 Tulsa race massacre. I sat down with senior pastor Keith Mays, who calls the building living history. From the double bricked walls in the basement that kept fire out when people inside prayed for their lives, to the spalling on the support beam showing the aftermath of an intense fire, Mays says every part of Vernon has been touched by the race massacre. It's quite disturbing to me because anyone who remotely knows the history of the massacre should be keenly aware that Vernon Church is the only surviving structure. Justice for Greenwood is working to prove the massacre caused a public nuisance. They'll move forward with the lawsuit by filing an amended petition, but only the three remaining survivors of the massacre are allowed to be involved. That's per the judge's ruling. It's an issue of humanity. It's an issue of righting the wrong. In the judge's ruling, the court says, quote, Vernon lacks standing to sue in this matter. Essentially, the ruling says the church entity now and what existed in 1921 are not the same. What, what happened with the church before its incorporation status? Is this the same group of people? Is this the same entity? And we think that would have been appropriate to decide during the case, but to decide before we even got there, we were disappointed and surprised to see. Randall Adams is one of the attorneys working on the case. During a news conference Thursday, attorneys said they're studying the options and considering whether they'll take additional steps to fight for Vernon to be included again in the lawsuit. In order to fix it, we have to face it. The Justice for Greenwood team has until September 2nd to file their amended petition.